Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Mohamed Makkour, who is the Vice President for Wireless Networks and Marketing Solutions for Huawei. Uh, Dr. Madko, thank you very much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me again. Now, it's great. We're c catching up with you. Uh, saw you about a year ago. We really wanted to find out how, you know, what, is, what has changed since we, we last met. Yeah, we last met actually in Busan uh, last year. Um, on that chat, I focused on the definition of uh, transformation and how uh, that this is not a goal by itself. It's a journey of a bunch of changes for carrier business, technology, and also operation. And um, I pointed out that uh, that needs to be fast. And I'm glad this year that uh, ITU, they are talking about better sooner. So I think we are on the same page. Um, I think today, uh, what I wanted to say is we actually, we have been seeing a lot of changes that is happening. And uh, some of them economic changes, uh, others technology changes, and also demographic changes. But more importantly, what we have seen over the last year or two is that the telecom industry now is kind of a soil that used to cultivate and grow other industry. And I think that kind of a change is the key uh, for telcos to kind of trying to rediscover or reinvent themselves. Now, uh, talking about growing, uh, there's been a lot of talk of smart digital development. What does it mean to you? Um, smart is important, it's intelligence, we're all talking about AI these days. Um, uh, digital development to me, it's again in the same path. It's all about how telcos can find the most efficient, profitable uh, development path so that they can get to the point of business sustainability. Uh, to be honest, what we have seen so far in our interactions with telcos in different markets that uh, telcos feel a little bit unsettled. Uh, sometimes they feel scared maybe of the changes, uh, but, but we've seen a lot of telcos, they already took steps for that digital uh, development. Uh, the fear for the change is still there. And, um, and the balance between the short-term uh, KPI, business KPI, and the long-term goal is always, has always been the key thing there. Um, they, they are keen about finding the right partner, the right talent, and more importantly, I think the investment uh, economics or kind of having the best experience or the best business with the minimum capex and opex. So these are, for me, the ingredients for uh, smart digital development in general for telcos around the world. And what are the roadblocks for carriers? Um, there are actually, I would say, I would say there are uh, psychological barrier, to be honest, you know, and, and as I described, I don't want to repeat myself, it's, 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 more, it's more like the fear of change. Uh, telcos have been in the comfortable zone for a long time, you know, doing uh, the, the business, but now I think what they need to do and how to discover themselves and adapt. So going, overcoming this uh, uh, psychological barrier is one, and the other thing is, again, how can I continue my business and at the same time going over the investment fear or the economics of business in general? Kind of balancing supply and demand and also revenue cost equation. Uh, this, this has been a big roadblock for carriers. So we're trying to make things more quick, more um, uh, effective for them. And so how should telcos react and transform uh, in, in order to cope with current industry uh, mandates? Um, well, the, the first thing is, I think they need to focus on their assets. What are the carrier strengths? I think connectivity still is the key strength for carrier, but now, talking about connectivity, it is not just a pipe itself. A connectivity is, what is it for? So, how to grab the value of the connectivity? First of all, can I build it and expand the connectivity for universal coverage, for example? And then how can I use it as valuable assets for me? I think that's, that's the key thing that they can do in order to adapt for the changes. The second point for that is, don't be locked into consumer business segment. 
Uh, I have seen many telcos now, they are intensifying their vertical ecosystem construction on how to go beyond that. Uh, we've seen many going for home business, home broadband, or maybe enterprise verticals and IoT. And for all of those, I think technology has been paving the way for all of those. And uh, things are so exciting, I believe. Talking about exciting, yeah, this is quite an exciting event, lots of things going on here. I wanted to find out what's the value of attending ITU Telecom World for you? Yeah, it's, it's been actually, I mean, every year I come here, first of all, I personally enjoy it, you know. It's, uh, the, the key thing about ITU, I think, to, to, to conduct that event in different continents and different parts of the world, to me, that gives us a kind of, um, of different angle of the transfer. We can keep talking about transformation for a long time, but you need to get into the area to see what exactly people are doing here. And being in Africa, I think, I think we all know the, 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 the gaps. Uh, of transformation and connectivity in Africa. And, and uh, this year, actually, we're talking about universal coverage for a continent like Africa and how to connect the digital divide. So, so having ITU here in that area of the world, emerging markets contributes a lot. I mean, we have to pay attention to this. Couple that with a lot of good topics that uh, you guys have here, beyond the connectivity or emerging markets, uh, artificial intelligence, even 5G. You know, even talking about 5G here in this market is kind of uh, exciting. And a lot of um, people have been asking us in Huawei, you know, how can 5G talk about 5G here? I, I always say, you know, 5G is a function of the place and the time. So at this time and that place, there are some ingredients for success, even for 5G. And uh, a third point for that is the collaboration and, uh, and uh, how to cross uh, talk about different things with different people at the same time, which is actually in line with what we do in Huawei. So we believe in cultivating collaboration among all of the ecosystem suppliers. That's also a great thing to do. So um, all of that are the strengths of your event and it's in line with what we see. And uh, I'm sure we're going to have a lot of exciting time here getting our hands into the key problems and trying to improve it. Mohamed Madkor, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. It's been a pleasure, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.